So much of our lives today was foretold by the genius that was the 1960s TV series, The Jetsons. The internet, video chats, flat screen TVs. And then there was Rosie the maid. She was the robot who took care of the Jetson family. Now we may not have flying cars just yet, but a world of Rosies might be just around the corner. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. Robots have been in the fabric of our imagination for decades, in books, movies, and TV shows. But the idea of real humanoid-looking robots that behave like us and interact with us is only now coming to fruition. Even President Obama was surprised when he witnessed the famous Asimo robot in action during a visit to Japan. Wow, he's moving. Industrial robots have been around for years, but where are the cool humanoid versions the sci-fi movies predicted we'd have by now? I traveled to Boston, Massachusetts to meet with Bruno Maisonet, a robotics innovator and the founder of Aldebaran, a technology company focused on developing humanoid robots, such as NOW, a real working robot. Hello, Innovation Nation. I'm happy to be here. I love Morocco. And there he is. And he or she? No. He, we say it's he because it's more than a, an object. It's not a male or female, it's, oh, a, okay. it's a robot. Why do we need them or why do we want them? With our robot is the most important thing, which is uh, connection, which is link, which is emotion. What inspired you to get into robotics? One day I discovered a science fiction book in school. Uh, I wrote that and it had many gadgets, robots, everything. And I told myself, wow, that's cool. Why isn't it existing? So I want to do that. Bruno had to wait a long time for technology to catch up to empower the robotic systems he envisioned. It wasn't until 2005 that he started to develop his own humanoid robotics, and he had a very specific idea of what they should do. Uh, I really want to have robots helping people. Emotion in communication as a companion. First, very cute, so cute that people want to have them at home. The head movements, the blinking, it really does a lot to sort of make it feel like a a living, breathing being. Yeah. Only 20% of communication is going through the words, 80% is through other things. So we've had to create all this communication code with the eyes, because here it's fundamentally a question of communication. Combining Now's mechanics with the sensory capabilities allows anyone to interact with this cute little robot, opening up both programming and teaching possibilities. This robot could be seen as a platform that everyone can program. So that's one of the primary uses right now for now is, is, is in education. Teachers immediately appear as the cool guys that are bringing robots to the future in the classrooms. Hello class, come closer and talk to me. Now it's put me through the paces, playing card recognition games. That's not an elephant, that's a chicken. Memory games, and even testing my math skills, where each correct answer charged Now's battery. What well, is five minus zero? Five. Great. Five minus zero is five. Wow, I'm fully recharged. Bruno and his robotics team have developed larger robot models, all designed to be teachers, helpers, and caretakers for us humans. Could you envision a day where you go into a restaurant and everyone is talking to their robot? No, I won't. But I could envision a day where there would be millions of robots, so people will walk in the street with robots one day. Until that day arrives, I'm going to take Now home with me, because I just really like the little dude. Uh, robot. <laughs>